I joined in 79. 20 fun-filled years in the Army. In Vietnam in, in 69 and 70. Infantry. Uh, U.S. Navy, my flotilla went down into Cambodia. I retired in 1996 as a 46 Zulu Master Sergeant. A lot of people wonder why so many vets are reenactors. About 40% had a military term sometime in their lifetime. These military veterans are reenacting the Battle of Chancellorsville on its 150th anniversary. Their prior service gives them insight into the differences between Army life then and now. The weapons, the color of the uniform, everything else is the same. Hurry up and wait. Hump over here, hump over there. Fire a few rounds, clean your weapon, do some details. These former service members became reenactors for different reasons. I had two relatives from uh, Petersburg, Virginia, that uh, fought in the 12th Virginia Infantry, and I wanted to honor them along with all veterans. It's a hot day in June, and I'm thinking, I'm sweating to death, and they're wearing wool, and they must be insane, so in typical teenage logic. I said, I gotta talk to these guys. Next thing I know, it's August of that same year. It's more hot, more humid, and I'm having the time of my life. And so one day I asked him, what, what's, what's with the deal? What's the deal with these clothes, David? And he told me he was a Civil War reenactor and that he was going off to a reenactment that weekend and asked me, he said, just you and your wife, come on up. One retired Army veteran turned it into a family affair. Um, her first words to me when I was in her camp was, Ew, there's a Yankee in camp. And next thing I know, I'm married.